So for Word, Word Processing 4 unit, um, what I'm going to do is uh, show you today how to do headers, footers, line spacing, margins, page numbers, and find and replace. And I might do a bit of graphics as well, see how it goes. Okay, right, let's go in. So when we want to open a new Word document, we go to our start menu, start menu over here, start. And I have Word pinned up here, so let's go Word. Remember, I always want to use a single space document, and that's because that way I can control the layout. If I choose blank document template, then Word thinks it knows how I want to lay things out, and it makes all my spacing go askew awry. So I choose single space document, and then I'm in control. Create. Previously, we set up our default font so that it was Calibri and 12. But as a quick reminder, if you want to change this, if I wanted to do Calibri 14 as my default font today, I would do 14 and then I could set it as default down here. But at the moment, I'm going to stick with 12. So 12 in here to my font menu and set as default. This document only or all documents based on the single space template, it's all documents. So here we go, all documents. OK, that's it. Right, so um, today's document, what are we going to do today? Uh, oh, Please let me demonstrate how to use find function. Named the line spacing, insert header and footer, and page numbers. Okay, let me just copy some of this. Paste. So we've got something to work with. So word processing for, I want to make this a heading. I want to make it bold. So using my left mouse key, highlight, and then I can bold, use italics, underline as I see fit. Okay, this moment, I just want to use it bold. There we go. I may want to change the size of the font just for this heading. So I could do that up here, make it 14 so it stands out. Okay. So, find and replace function. Find and replace function is a really useful function if we want to replace a word. Um, if I was typing in a letter or a document and it had our Inverness office, but then I wanted to change it to our Elgin office, I would change, uh, in all instances, I would use the find and replace function. In this case, what um, I'm going to do is change the word amend to change. OK, so what I would have to do is go to my find function up here. So find and replace. OK, so find and replace. If I just wanted to find the word, I could just use find like that. OK. Find and then I tell it which word I want to find. So in this case, amend. It highlights all the instances of amend. There we go. But I don't want to just find the words, I want to replace them. So again, I use the replace function. If I can't sell that so you can see replace just directly under find and we're on the home tab, remember. So replace. I want to find the word amend. It's remembered that I want to find that and I want to change it to the word change, funnily enough. Okay. So I could choose to replace one. Okay. It will automatically go to the one and I can tell it whether to replace that one or not. And I can do this one at a time for all of them, or I can replace all. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to choose replace all, but be very careful if you are using this option in a document, um, you might make a mistake. OK, so sometimes it's best to do it manually in this case. Other times you can choose replace all. That's it. We've made two further changes, replacements. OK, and close. And we can see that the word amend is now the word change. That's how to use find and replace function. Okay, line spacing. At the moment, my line spacing, okay, if we go into paragraph, we can see that it's single line spacing. If I want to change that to double line spacing, 
use the option up here, paragraph. Okay, so highlight the areas that I want to change, highlight the sections that I want to change. Use the drop down menu, and then I can change single line spacing to, I could change it to one and a half. It would look there, or equally, highlight again, come up, I could change it to double. Double line spacing. Okay, there we go. And we see everything's changed to double. So where we used to have one blank line in between paragraphs, now we have two blank lines in between paragraphs okay, because it's double line spacing. Um, what else do we want to do today? Headers and footers. So insert, insert tab, okay, header. I want a blank header and I want to type something up here. Okay, so that was blank header. So I want to type maybe my name up here. There we go. When I want to come out of the header area, I can either close it using this button. Okay, I could press that and close, or I could double click within the body of the document and it will come out. And a header appears, a header and a footer appears on every page of your document. So if I was to go on and create a new page over here, you can see page two, Clark McLennan appears as the header there as well. Moment, and that was header. What else do I want? Footer. Footer is exactly the same, but it appears at the bottom of the page. Okay, so footer. Okay. Edit footer, we're at the bottom of the page. In this case, I actually want a page number, so I can use the option here, page number. And remember from last week, I said I like page numbers to be page one of something, page one of three, page two of three, page three of three. And that way it's easy to see if there's any pages missing. So in this case, I'm going to do bottom of the page, okay? And I'll use my options here, page one of one. There we go. Right, and if I go back to the home tab, I don't like the fact that it's just the page numbers in bold. So I'm going to highlight all of that and press bold. And Oh, I meant to highlight everything. My apologies. Take bold off or put bold on. In this case, I'm going to take bold off, make none of it bold. But I also want this right aligned. So again, using alignment keys up here, very similar to using Excel alignment keys, you can make it right aligned. I want to come out of footer area, so I double click back up in the document. You can see page one of two, page two of two. And if I only have one page, delete. There we go. I only have one page document now, and it's page one of one. And that's today's very quick lesson.